I need I you to understand you. that my life is one big suffering. I believe that you are in some shit right now. So maybe maybe we can come. It's not here. my best. I'm not at my best. Maybe no, this we... is this is good. Okay. I'm, how do I play this game? <laughs> okay, that's the clicky. I do the clicky. You do that's the clicky. positive. You, you... Not in time. I have I have a weapon in my hand and I can do the clicky. So that's sounds good. Ninety percent of it. Perfect. I don't know what. Uh, oh, that's you. Okay. This is me. Uh, I was you... just following the skeletons. I mean. It, it also a good in, impulse. If you go to the party screen, you ex you can accept my invite, and then we can't Captain hurt each other. I it's been so long. It has except. been like three weeks. There we Rook, go. Welcome aboard, Lightning Pants. My life fell apart in those three weeks. That's absolutely true. It's uh, uh huh. Yup. All, right, all right. Uh, so if you click on this thingy, you you'll it will it's a waypoint, and if you can click on the stony field, we can teleport to the stony field. Stony field. I Boom. should have used the thing to, but it's whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm gonna just collect gold. Oh, there's my attack. There okay. we go. Right, right click, cast your spell. Left click, hits your weapon. Cool. Here's a here's a fucking pro tip from me to you. If you hold shift, you can uh, you you stop moving. So if you hold shift and right click there's no risk of you walking into combat when you mean to do something else oh that's okay i don't even know where combat is happening so there is zero <laughs> risk of me walking into it <laughs> besides all the skeletons seem to get there first at this point my skeletons move very quickly yeah why are your skeletons so fucking fast it also doesn't help that like i'm i don't know it's either I think it's a combination of, like, my computer resolution is better than it was when I played this many, many moons ago, many years ago. Makes sense. And so it's actually, the graphics are worse now. Yep. Uh, combined with just, like, I'm so spoiled on good graphics and shit that sometimes I have no idea what's fucking happening. I'm like, the pixels appear to be moving and it <laughs> So that's funsies. I think I the game know. is trying to communicate with me. <laughs> it appears to run on some kind of electricity. <laughs> uh, so that doesn't go great. Right now I'm just moving. Anyway, Diablo. Diablo. So our goal is to find the underground passage we used to get to the dark wood last time. I am then... overburdened. Apparently. Oh she no! Is me this. I well, did not sell anything. It's time for your greatest uh, enemy, uh, inventory management. Uh, inventory management. Wait, I have a scroll. Oh, you already used one. I sorry. had one. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm sorry. I just I I have it on a hotkey. Oh, well, I don't fucking do that. So. Exactly. Like, you're too pretty for hotkeys. I understand. I, not that I'm too pretty. I'm tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so tired. How do I sell things? Well, it's okay. So, we'll play Diablo and kill some minions. and It'll everything. feel really good. You, know, <laughs> you don't understand the hell. I mean, I guess... I, I've told we've spoken. So right. I do understand some of the hell. Vaguely, but you know. I am in hell. Uh, so that's feeling good. Today I was doing fine, and I was doing fine, and I was doing fine, and then I thought about my life, and I was like, I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Now that's an overreaction. That's absolutely an overreaction because I've never passed out in my life. But that uh, so is how you felt. But I was like, I'm gonna fucking pass out. Like, if ever there was a moment for passing out, this is the one. You know, it's weird. The inventory in this reminds me a lot of a, well, much smaller version of uh, the original Neverwinter Nights. Oh, where yes. you must delicately arrange your inventory to fit so, so many severed heads. Yeah, I don't um, know. I don't know why. I mean, it was like that in Diablo 1, but I don't know why yeah. they kept it for Diablo 2. I'm really glad in 3 they were just like, nah, man, everything takes up two slots. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not huge on a slot based, on like a, like a size slot based inventory system, if that makes sense. Definitely. 
Uh, where? No, I go through the portal. I go through the portal. Where is the portal? The portal is here. Are you in the portal? I am not in the portal. I am on the other side of the portal. Cool. So I need to go through. God. Welcome back, Lightning Pants. Uh, <laughs> is, <laughs> is it because you just like that I named my character Lightning Pants? Yes. Fair. Look, you can name your character normal fucking shit. I'm gonna name my lightning pants. <laughs> uh, it's not even like like something dumb like uh, like Bone Master Five Thousand or whatever. It's just stupid. Dog Lord Four Twenty. Yeah, right. There you go. There you we know go. What's up. We got there. We ch we're channeling the '90s for real now. Oh, God, dude. I'm. <laughs> I've got these these two new people they just hired at work, and I'm like giving them a tour, which is again weird to be like, hi, you'll never see me again. Right. Uh, so that's fucking bizarre. But it's also really funny because I was saying something about like, I was like, yeah, we got a bunch of teenage girls and like they do dumb shit, which like I get, you know, I was a teenager once a long, long time ago. Cause like joking about being old is like my thing at work. Right. Um, and, one of the girls is like, it can't have been that long ago. And I'm like, no, it was. And then I thought about it. And I was like, oh my God, it was 10 years. I haven't been a teenager in 10 years. And then God I like damn. had to have a moment because like recent birthday means that I, I don't know. This birthday has been harder than most of my other ones. Oh, really? Yeah, I think it's one thing to be like, I'm almost 30, and it's another thing to be like, oh, no, I am. Oh, no, we there. Oh, like, it's next year, and then, like, I panic a little bit. And also, like, again, bad things happen this week, so. Right. That's making my life a little harder. I got fired. It's fine. No, I didn't get fired. Right. Nothing bad happened. My job was cut. My yes. company cut my 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 job. Your 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 employer said, "Don't call us. Uh, we won't call you." Yeah, pretty much. I told them to call me if they bring the position back, which they will. I know they will, but like right. when? Uh, but yes, or they'll or they'll declare bankruptcy. Again. Um. Well, it took us three years to organize this current corporate restructuring, so you know we'll see you when we see you. No, no. This is our sec. This is the company's second restructure oh, in Jesus a year. Christ! Oh my god! We had god. a restructure a year and two months ago, and now we're having another. And I'm like, it's we are not long for this world. But I'm getting out. It's I'm like a rat fleeing a sinking ship. Honestly. Yeah, no. So it's seriously. kind of okay. But like, it's just dramatic. There's just some drama. And I don't love it. And I'm saying this not for pity. I'm saying this because I don't. I don't want to like vague post about my fucking job. Right. Fuck. Fuck that shit. Just say the thing. Oh man, some wacky shit's going on in my job. Fuck no, off. No, I, say the no, thing. No, I got. I got fucking. I got fucking. It's it's a complicated situation, but it, what what it comes down to is they're kicking me out. Of my job. Right. It's a complicated procedure, but the long story short is I don't have a job anymore. So. And it's not my fault. Right. Which is an important note. I'm very good at my job. Also, again, did I tell you about my fucking, the fucking manager? The, or, I called a higher up about it to essentially be like, can you just do it this way so that my life is less bad? And they were like, no. Because, you know, of course. Um, Why would that be possible? They gave me this whole, firstly, she was like, yeah, we want, really want to try to keep you in some kind of position in the company because you're really good at your job and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, essentially like, can I get a raise then? If you want me to do this other thing, I need a raise. And she was like, well, I don't give raises to people just because they've like been here a while. They have to go above and beyond. And I'm like, you just finished telling me I did. Right. I haven't got a raise in two years, so why don't you go fuck yourself? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I gotta, yeah. gotta love that logic. Yeah, oh, sweet. Like, then can I get a raise? <laughs> fuck no. I was like, cool, cool. So you've answered my question for me. That's, that was kind of the end of it. I'm like, oh. Also, she lied to me a bunch, so that was funsies. Oh, no. Here's, here's another... Why am I walking? Oh, I must have run out of stamina? Oh, uh, yeah, is your little stamina bar... Red yeah. or empty. I just need to stop moving for a second. Hold on. 
Um, Apparently, I'm having some issues. Once it's above the red line, if you I press can... R to walk, you can still regain stamina despite the fact that While you're moving. While walking? Yes. Got it. Uh, the stamina, as near as I can tell, it exists only so that you can't just run past every monster. That kind of makes sense. The monsters... On the other hand, the monsters are weirdly easy. Yeah. So, they will get more complicated. Yeah. They don't get I really... I know, but, like, I don't know. I guess, I guess I remember playing this, but again, I was, like, a teenager, so it's been a while. Right. Um, but just Diablo 3 monsters were easy. Even, like... Oh, yeah. I don't know why they're so easy. It doesn't make any sense. Um, anyway, yeah, so, uh, here's a, here's a pro tip to all the kids out there. If you're trying, if you ask your... If you ask someone in a management position above you, um, something, and they fucking lie to you, don't have that job anymore. Yeah, just... Like, just go. Just it's boogie. not worth it. It's I need over. you to... Child, it is not worth it. I don't know. Sometimes it's worse when they don't lie to you. I, like... I mean, I don't know. I would rather somebody be like, everything is collapsing and you will die. And I'll be like, well, I didn't plan for that. Whereas, no. like, you know. Or did you mean, like, I, I assume you mean lie to feel better. Nah, I, there was a specific story. Like, you mentioned the, I can't give you a raise. Uh, yeah. And lie to you about the reason. And it reminded me of a story some guy told about when he was working at Tim Hortons. And he's just like, uh, it, like his he, his manager calls him in. He's like, "All right, Bucko, it's time for it's race season. And you know what that means? I have found a reason why you don't deserve a race." Yeah, I mean and, that that does happen. Now, and, don't get me wrong. Look, there are good people in in store management position, and there are bad people. Right. Like I am very lucky in that, like my manager would physically fight somebody if it was required to get us raises. Like, I have full confidence that he would be like, everybody in my store deserves $5 raises. Fuck off. Right, If he but, could, he'd do it. Right, but he can't. It's not gonna happen, but yeah. he would, yeah. On the other hand, I have, like, I've, look, I've had good supervisors and I've had bad supervisors. And I will say, I have never had good corporate management. Nope. If they're in corporate, they suck. It's the, it's the, the, yeah. Not a fucking one. It's very odd. Okay. Now, don't get me wrong. I have been in store-related management positions in both of these places. And I can tell you, I did not get anything that, like, lower-level people did. Did it. Right. Like, I didn't get anything more. It also sucked. But uh, the, the thing about the story that really sticks out to me is l they're like, yeah, you don't wash your hands enough. And he's like, I'm the only one who does wash my hands here. Gross. Like, everyone else just sort of fucks around and doesn't do it. And then the, the manager literally said, hey, I got to put something on this form. Oh, my God. <laughs> like. Yeah, no. See, again, like, <laughs> if, if you don't trust that you, your supervisor would fight somebody for you, get a new job, too. That's you another gotta leave. Point. Sorry, mate. I, I did that in my previous job. I had one supervisor who, like, would have gone to the mat for us every day of the week. And uh, then they fired her, obvious, or they demoted her, because obviously. Right. Uh, that and then we had one who exist. once told us, uh, if, like, I'm not letting you guys take me down with you. And we were like, okay, so you're dead to us. Jesus Christ. Yeah. She was also, I will say, she was also the one who gave us, uh, who once, like, yelled at us for doing something. She was like, if I find out who did this, blah, 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 all this stuff, like, and, uh, my work friend and I were, like, sitting there, like, we cannot look at each other because we knew who had done it, and it was her. Because <laughs> we watched her fucking do it. We were like, oh, that's not good. You're not supposed oh, to do that. Oh my god. And that's... then somebody else caught her, and then we got yelled at. And I'm like, that was her, and I can't, yeah, I can't. Oh, mm, that's bad. That's... that's why I love that job. Anyway, this is just me bitching about my job today. No, that's fine. I'm having a week. <sighs> that's the beautiful thing about this, Zoe. You can do whatever you want. I can, well, you mean I can complain about whatever I want. That's also true. <laughs> uh, no, actually, I feel like I'm fine. 
Welcome I'm to Diablo. You can complain about whatever you wish. Look, uh, here I have no pants, but I do have lightning hands, so I'll take it. So uh, there's, a, there's a give and take. Yeah. Uh, you know how I it mean, is. Look, here, here's the thing. I feel much stronger now, says my companion, as though I guess they leveled up. Yes, they level <laughs> up alongside you. Uh, cool. hmm. Sorry, I'm being handed a beer. No, it's absolutely fine. That's good. There Try that. Go. I did. You did? Yeah. It's much sharper. That's smooth. <laughs> we got a bunch of pumpkin beer. Do you know how much pumpkin beer is in my house right now? It's a lot of. It's a lot. Of. I, I I I've heard good things about pumpkin beer. And some of it's okay, and some of it's not. Like that's what I can tell you. Yeah, definitely. Like, um, if someone hands me a pumpkin head, I will drink that fucking pumpkin head. Yeah, I mean, look, it's good. It's the way it should be. It's, um, I got. We have a local brewery that I got one from that makes. A, it makes a blueberry wheat that is to die for. So I was like, if you have a pumpkin, I will take it. But yeah, it, it's interesting. I don't know. I'm a beer snob, but like, only about certain beers. Here's here's my other pro tip of the day. If someone, usually a fucking white hipster dude at a bar trying to hit on you, um, tells starts talking to you about IPAs, he knows nothing and oh, God. should be killed. Yeah, no. If someone Good. likes IPAs, they're boring. Right. And everybody is welcome to fight me. We get it. You like the thing that everybody else likes. No, I'm a rugged individual. Fuck off. I'm like, this tastes... Like, and the problem with mo... Mm. Okay, I probably shouldn't get onto, IP... in... onto beer. But the problem with modern IPAs is that they are uh, not good because everybody cares so much about hops that they... it becomes a nothing. It just, uh, it just becomes hops. It becomes a nothing beer. It just is like, do you want some hops? And I'm like, eh, do you have anything else in it? And it's like, hops. I'm like, okay, did you? Cool. You got nothing else. And then it's like, it's bitter. And you're like, is it anything else? No. Nope. Cool. All right. So ideally, while we're out here, we find the waypoint so we can teleport back here if we need to. Okay. I need to. I I am getting low on inventory space again. These things happen. Try really hard to keep it to not a lot of stuff because I have a feeling it doesn't matter. Um, not really. Like for you, all you need to worry about is like armor. Yeah. Which reminds me, I'm still using fucking regular leather armor <laughs> like a scrub. Um, I have been quilted ar Oh, I have a better armor. I put on a different armor. Nice work. I put on some... Now, I uh. will say, one thing that I do like about this game is that the armor you can buy in shops, at least mm -hmm. in this, in the, at this difficulty level, is shit you can use. That's great, because, you know, there's so much that you're like, why would I buy armor? Right. I have to kill monsters until they drop something, which really makes no sense logically in the world, but but katana boost. Um, <laughs> katana oh boost. my god! You haven't thought about that in a while. You I just haven't remembered in the about... moment, and it was great. And you were like, "Fucking katana boost." I haven't thought about katana boost in years. Katana boost is hilarious. Now, did you hear the the dark secret about katana boost? I assume we're going back, so Hello. you can... Yes, I have to sell some things, so you can join cool. me in selling things if you want. I also will sell some things. Also, I uh, must eat some pasta. Oh, you gotta eat that pasta. Yeah. Uh, um, oh, actually, I found an amulet that you're gonna want to use. Okay. Uh, it increases your spell cast rate. I dropped it over there. I dropped it over there. Oh, I have a leg. I forgot I have a leg. Oh, yeah. You're going to want to put that in your stash. Uh, don't sell it. Don't drop it. It's very important. We'll need it later. Where is the stash? It's next to Wariv, the cavern, uh, the caravan dude. Your private stash. Roger, Dodger, the leg is in the stash. Marvelous. I am standing next to the Amulet of the Apprentice. Are you? What if do I get to see that? Alt. Got it. Uh, I see it. I got it. Marvelous. I. Uh, so, 
Put it on automatically. Okay, got it. <laughs> uh, so, shockingly, there is a logical explanation for Katana Moose. Uh, yes, I, I am aware there's a logical explanation for Katana Moose. I actually didn't know that. Okay, all right. Because cool. I've known you for long enough that you have, of course, rained. <laughs> Do you think that you have not explained to me Katana? I, you know, there was always a chance. Was there? No, no. <laughs> there wasn't a chance in hell. Yeah, no, so anyway, that's fine. Uh, no, but I do know there's a logical explanation to Katana moves. That doesn't okay. make it less funny that it's a fucking Katana move. It's still fucking hilarious. Uh, you have to go through the portal first. Yep, got okay. it. Because it disappears behind me. Oh, hey, look, it's the waypoint. Sweet. Uh, yes, you click on that. Click on it, right? Dark yes. Wood. Uh, and now we can go into the dark marsh. Not to be confused Where? with the dark wood. Where the fuck did you go? This way. I forgot I had, had a map. <laughs> I'm sorry, the black marsh as opposed to the dark wood. Dark wood, black marsh. Don't worry, everything in Diablo sucks. <laughs> Nothing here is good. This world is full of badness and pain. That's essentially right. true. And like, I don't know, like in Diablo 1, it didn't feel that bad because like it was just one town that had gotten fucked up. Like you got the yeah. feeling that, oh, you know what? The rest of this world is okay, but this town is fucked up. And if we don't stop it, everything else is gonna turn into shit. And now everything else just is shit. Right, and like, I guess it didn't really matter. Ooh. Everything's just a bad place to be right now. Uh, I feel like I, I probably have some skills that I need to have. Uh, mm, mm, I don't want to pick up shit that's dumb. Uh, oh man, if I knew anything about the sorcerer's skill list, I'd give you a hint. Um, I know lightning bolt is strong as fuck. Charge uh, bolt, lightning, yeah, I need to, I'm, that's what I'm working towards, but I have to be level 12 for it, so I'm gonna- Fuck. Um, huh, let me look at the sorcerer's skill list real quick. Oh no! People can see my desktop. Uh... Oh, that is weird. You only have access to charged bolts, and then you can get static field and telekinesis. What the fuck is static field? Uh, every enemy in a radius around you loses a quarter of their health. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neato. Uh oh. I alt tab for one second and she gets eaten by a wizard. Son of a bitch. Whatever will I do without my charming co-host? Hello? Uh, hello! I could hear you! But uh, then I could not hear you anymore. That's weird. Uh, you also got kicked from the game. Yes, I see that. Okay. That was my first- I got kicked from the game, and then I could hear you talking about the skill tree. Right. And I was like, bitch, stop talking about the skill tree. I'm dead. <laughs> Sorry, I was all tabbed. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. good. Okay. Um, party. So, party, all... party all night. All no, like... party. All I can say is that Static Field is cool, and um, the other one, Telekinesis, is useless. That's 
honestly, I have no points in telekinesis because I'm like, that was lame. I do have one in static field, so I you, will put another one. Your instincts uh, uh, serve you well. So if you take the town portal that I left in town, you'll come to I me. I will reappear. Hello, I am back. Everything is fine. All right, let's go into the Forgotten Tower and get a fuck ton of money. Woo! Money, money, money. Which way? Where did you go? Oh, I'm sorry. There's another door besides oh, that door. Oh, got it. Yep, Roger. Figured it out. <laughs> it was like you immediately disappeared. So that sucked. Um, hey, did you watch that thing I sent you yet? Oh, no. Sorry. That's fine. I just... Uh, metal. You want me to learn about metal? I... Look, you keep asking me questions about metal. Like... <laughs> I, I and and Sam could... Dunn will explain things to you in a way that was, will be interesting. I was and... about to say you could conceivably answer them all, but oh, it would take too long. But don't you want to listen to Metalhead Dan Brunk instead? I do. You do. It's it's a, <coughs> one. It's really it's a really cool series that I highly recommend you watch as much of as you can or I guess want to, but. Um, but also, like, oh god, I have no mana, how did this happen to me? Um, but also, like, you keep asking me shit like, wait, I didn't know it was the blues, and I'm like, I'm dying. <laughs> right, this is what death is like. Look, I, I could lecture you about heavy metal for ever, but I feel like that's... <sighs> What's that gonna do for anyone? I, I feel like you're gonna get bored. I mean, I, I don't think that's accurate. Uh, but I just don't want to. In a, I don't want to do it in a written form. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. That's just so yeah, much. Yeah. Where, like, you can Google it in a written form. Right. It doesn't fulfill the same fun need of talking about fucking metal for hours. I could read that anywhere, but yeah. you get to, like, hear your own literal voice expressing information yeah, about metal. Very different. Very, very different. And also, like, I don't... You don't need that. Like, and it's like, ugh. I don't want to, like, write out the fucking basics of, like, well, here's where, me where heavy metal came from. Like, ugh. I don't need to write a fucking paper about it. Sam Dunn did it for me. I don't know. I want a dissertation on my desk by this morning. No, here's the thing. If you want me to talk about, like, the origins of punk, that's a whole different matter. Oh, but I see. I'd do that in a heartbeat. Oh, jeez. Take a potion. I'm fine. On my screen, it says you have, like, no health. Yep. Said that on my screen, too. <laughs> <laughs> True. If you're not dead, you're basically fine. Yeah, right. Like, there are two states. 100% alive and dead. There's no in-between. There's no in-between. Not that none in this game. nothing to me. Weird. A lot of really big charms. Huh. Uh, hold on. I gotta put my stuff in my thing. That made a lot of sense, right? Total sense. I need to put more healing potions in my slots. Oh, in your belt. Is that what it is? Yes. And the power of your belt gives you more slots for potions. I am Batman. You are, except instead of, like, actually cool gadgets, you just have healing potions. I mean, it's pretty you cool. You think a healing potion isn't a cool gadget? It's pretty cool, but, like... It's not a bad gadget. It's definitely not a bad gadget. But it's not shark repellent bat spray. Exactly. It's not shark repellent bat spray, nor is it, like, a grappling hook. I, here's the thing. The one I really want is like, Batman has like, <coughs> if your Batman doesn't have wild gadgets for every scenario, is he really Batman? Is he really Batman? Or are you just watching some sort of bizarre Batman knockoff? What the fuck? Oh, I, I, I hit, I tried to hit all, I had tried to open my thing and also collect something at the same time. And I hit alt, and then I hit tab, and then I alt tab down. <laughs> While trying to open everything. I tried to 
Don't try to open too much at one time or you will accidentally all tab out. You will accidentally break your game. Oh, sweet, skeletal wizards. Oh my God, you can make <clears throat> skeletal wizards now? I can, look at him. Jesus. He's got lightning hands to match your lightning pants. Oh my God. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, my point is, oh my god, why is there so much gold on the ground? It's gold! Um, no! So apparently that countess who bathed in the blood of a thousand virgins or whatever also just like has been collecting compound interest on her money for the millions of years she's been alive. I forgot about virgin blood, lady. <laughs> Well, yeah. Jesus, this don't, bitch just leaves gold everywhere. Don't forget her. We're going to fight her real soon. I must create Goldar. <laughs> okay, okay so like, oh, you do your thing. Nope, first. nope. Okay. I was going to talk about Power Rangers. Go. I was also going to talk about Power Rangers. Like, what Let's is talk Gold about Power Rangers. What is Goldar's deal? Like, I understand that he's Rita Repulsa's main minion, but yeah. like, he, for the main minion, he doesn't do much fighting. Okay. Goldar. Look, you can't pick- Oh, there's a door that will disappear into a door. Nope. Where Other the door. fuck are you? I'm lost. I got lost. These doors are very hard to see. Uh, what the shit is happening? Ah, uh, the count just attacked me and my minions killed her. Sorry. It's okay. I showed up 15 minutes like with Star Wars. Now, the bad news is there's a giant firewall in front of the door. No, the bad news is I'm dying. Unfortunate. And the even worse news is that her loot sucked. Oh, uh, that's, that's rough, buddy. That's, I got gold. I that's got gold. the worst thing ever. I got a sweet rune for you. That's probably going to be useful. Uh, if you can slot it into something, uh, it'll give you bonus uh, mana regeneration. Fair enough. Which sounds right up your alley. Yep, seeing as I, that's my life. Is it this F? Yes. F, F the F. And. You know. Hold on, I gotta look at my quest log. Okay, it's done. That part's done. How long is this? How many, how many, I guess, act? Is uh, it still act? Yes, there are five acts, I think. Okay. Um. And Jesus, did you leave? Did yes, you? Yes, I left. <laughs> we are leaving now. These cars are so hard to find. <laughs> I have trouble with them because they blend into the background. They really do. And we do 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 so anyway, Power Rangers. Right, Power Rangers, Goldar, what's his deal? Uh, he's made of gold and he's big. Right, but like, I don't know. I'd expect that if, if he's the main minion, they'd send him all the time. But every fucking episode, Rita has, what's his face, the Claymaker, make a new monster. Okay, and... I can answer this question, but you're not going to like me. Uh, uh, okay. Hit me. Okay, here's the reason. We could have every single episode is Goldar fighting the Power Ring. Right? True. Right, that's boring. Boring. Boring and dull, and it will not. That's not. Well done, Super, my super interesting. Courage I have to wait for my stuff to come back. Hold on. Have created in you a kind uh, of my stamina is regenerating, and you are gone. Sorry. Uh, I am lost, and I have. You know, I'm in the tower now. Congratulations. Uh, How do I get out of the tower? You. Oh, there's a ladder. There, yes. And then you went through this fucking portal. That is correct. Cool. Um. Anyway, so yeah, it's it's one of those explanations you're not gonna like because it's about it's external. Right, right, right. So yeah. really, the point is. Part of the fun of Power Rangers is that every week they fight a weird thing. Right. And so if they fought Goldar, Goldar over and over. Goldar is there every fucking week. How boring. That'd be lame that? as fuck. Yeah. So instead, what they have to do. I think I can. I put the thing on the thing. Oh, I did the thing on the thing. Cool. 
I managed to put the the rune on something. Congratulations. <laughs> that was that was what I was yelling about. It's okay. Um anyway, so yeah, if if they fight Goldar every single week, that's super boring and it's just not as interesting. It's the same reason that like <laughs> Like most shows work that way. You get right, an enemy of the week. You get a monster of the week. Like that's just shows work that way because it's not interesting to be like and every week they fight the same person. Part of the fun of watching a show like that is like what will the monster be? Right. Like um It's the same reason like Dragon Ball Z has all those arcs where every Every time, that, like, everything is a new one and it's weirder than the last one. And, I mean, it's also part of the problem. Right. Obviously, but if you set your show up where it's not, like... The problem with DBC is that every week it's... So, it's gotta be bigger. It's gotta be bigger. Right. Um, but in Power Rangers, they set it up where every week it's just different. It's just something In the same weird. way that, like you do with a procedural or like an X-Files or a Buffy. You know how in Buffy there's something new every week? Yes. Or supernatural. Right. Um, and then you have some plot episodes in between where they fight Old Army or Repulse or whatever. Right. Just straight um, up fight Lord Zed. Yeah. Like, uh, I'm reliving my childhood a little bit and watching, uh, show uh card captors oh man which i look i uh i know i know i lived off like shonen anime during my week phase but like clamp is they're very good at what they do i really like their art style and i will never stop liking their art style it's very pretty now one of the things that always oh man I should probably just watch Card Captain Sakura again myself. You should. It's on Netflix. <laughs> Sweet. Because, like, I, I saw bits and episodes, and I was like, this is so fucking cool. Yeah. These fucking cards with their weirdo powers. Yeah. But what's your question? I can't answer it. Uh, I nah. Have a lot of there's no... I just, like, who's that bitch with the bell? What's her deal? Oh, uh, it's... Uh, yeah, that... Look, you just gotta watch... You gotta watch and or read the show. It right. makes sense. Okay. Like, it's that's like being like, who's the weird lady with the big gold thing? Like, it's just watch the show. You gotta watch the show, man. Cause like, or, I remember she yeah. just shows up when they're trying to get through the labyrinth and I'm like, who, wh why? Yeah, you gotta just, yeah. If, if, if it's a specific question like that, you gotta watch it. Yeah. If it's like an overarching question, I'd answer it, but right. like that's more just like you just watch it. If you're into it, just watch it. Um, girl anime, like eat, like Sailor Moon does that same thing. Like every time they fight somebody new, every you right. know, that's that's just shonen anime is a little different. Um, oh fuck, I got lost, and then I found an enemy. <laughs> um. Hit him with my stick. Shonen anime is a little bit different because usually it tends to go in arcs based on who they're fighting. Right. Whereas shoujo anime often, especially like Magical Girl anime, anime kind of goes with like, there's a big bad and then there's lots of smaller bads. Right. And it's like, and how then, do we defeat these minions? Yeah. And then how the do we defeat are, the big bad guy? Yeah, the arcs are usually character related rather than... Uh, who you're fighting related. Um, like, y DBZ is really the best one for, like, this is what a shonen anime looks like. Right. Because each arc is, like, you've got, like, they literally call it the Boo Saga. Like, it's because it's about who you're fucking fighting. Right. Uh, Although... Whereas... Yeah. Uh, the the drama surrounding the uh, the the android saga is always very delightful. Yeah, and I mean that's part of the reason it's delightful is that it kind of mirrors more like shoujo anime stuff. Right. Well, well it, dude, I haven't fucking talked about anime in a long ass time. I used to love it. And then but I don't. it turned into something I don't, weird. I don't like modern anime, and I'm not. 
I'm sorry. I'm old. I like what I like from when I was younger. I like a very <laughs> specific visual style of anime arrived. that is no longer done. Like, I can't, I can't explain it any more than like, they just don't draw the anime that I like. I don't know. I, like, I, I definitely feel that, but I feel, I don't know. Number one, yeah, the animation style change. <clears throat> but on the other hand, like, I don't know. I feel like modern anime is always either like hearkening back or just appealing to a very small audience. I think it's just appealing to a different audience. Um, I think it's a little... I think a lot of the early anime that we talk about that's like a big for some kind of reason is big because it was the first to talk about certain concepts. Yeah. Um, but... And then a lot of the That's newer stuff has been revisiting so those concepts. The point, and, right? It's, I mean, it's in the same way that, like, so you know, we we all know that, like, one, there's a lot of history stuff, but also a lot of anime, uh, to a certain extent, was talking about, like, uh, the one of my favorites is Akira. Oh uh, yes. And I don't mean the movie. I mean, the, the whole comic, thing, yeah. The comic, which was instrumental to me as a child. Like, here's the thing, too. Like, what was you, what was the first anime or like manga you really got into? Manga? Uh, either one. E either I discovered manga before I discovered anime. So. Okay, that makes sense. The first anime I really got into was, I think, Bebop. Like, I caught it. Like, That's I caught very one, reasonable. I caught one episode on fucking. Uh, adult Swim at three in the morning, and I was like, yeah. "What is this?" Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, I should I should also note I wasn't allowed to television as a child, so of course I was gonna get it. Um, so I didn't have that necessarily like experience because again, we had PBS. If it wasn't on fucking PBS, I wasn't watching it. Let's say it's not real. Um, true. Um, why? Uh, what was I saying? Um, so mine was the Akira manga, which I don't know if you've read it, because the book is different than the movie. I haven't, I should. I know the movie covers a lot of ground very quickly. Yeah. And doesn't even go over the full story. Yeah, you know, okay, so spoilers. Are you good with some spoilers I for what happened? I am so cool with spoilers. So you've seen the movie though, right? I haven't. What? I know. What? Whoa, 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 now we have to pause. <laughs> we have to pause to discuss the fact that you haven't seen Akira. It's a fucking oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, death can take its fucking toll. Uh, that's fine. I have opened a town portal. Thank you. If you um, come through it and pick up your corpse, you can grab your equipment. Uh, I'm dead here. Do I get my stuff? No, you haven't picked it up yet. What do I? Lightning there we go. Got it. Okay. Um. Uh, right. Uh, while we're in here, we're looking for Charcy's magical hammer. Great. Good to know. I'm just fucking following the skeleton situation. There's so many of them. And now, and now, like the enemy skeletons are also pale. So I just don't know what's happening at any given moment. I'm sorry. No. Because like up until this point, the skeletons have always been weird colors, and from this point on, they will continue to be weird colors but just at this moment it is yes impossible. in this particular area we got oh fuck i'm fine what do you mean you can't use this yet you had it you had it in your hand earlier a uh, different orb put a rune on it but I had the rune on it beforehand and it didn't get mad at me. That's so weird. The the rune must have a level requirement that you- And I had managed to fake it out. Yeah, well, if you put it into your equipment while you have the equipment on, 
Yeah. It doesn't it doesn't check to see if you meet the requirement. Can I remove it? No, there's no okay, way to cool. remove a rune, so you'll just have to wait until you level up or something. That's fine. That's fine. I have no weapon. It's okay. I have some lightning. NBD, quite frankly, if you were playing any other class, it'd be like, oh it shit. It would be like, oh my god, what are we doing? But uh, I don't know. Oh god, don't go in that room. Oh shit, I'm too Oh god. Oh, uh, don't mind me. What the fuck? Oh, that man is scary. That is a scary man. Yeah, we got some scary goat men in here. It's okay, I'm not going in there. I'm standing out here and just throwing lightning. Thank you. Got it. Nice. Nice work, everyone. To go and die. Holy I only died because I got shit. really into fucking uh, Akira and the fact that you hadn't seen it and forgot to look at my health. <laughs> I got you... so offended that you hadn't fucking seen Akira that I died instantly. <laughs> so that checks out. Um, Sounds about right. Anyway, so Akira. Yes. You have to see Akira as a cultural touchstone. I, I, I understand that. I, I fully... I. I understand the implication of what I'm gonna say as a person who is very against gatekeeping. If you say you like anime and you haven't fucking watched Akira, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Like, bad. Bad, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Just go on. It's... Again, I will, I will stick to the fact that I don't think the movie is as good as the movie. I, uh, I'd be willing to believe that, but I mean, um, I, I do like understand... In the same yeah. Like, I do understand that the movie is really fucking good, so when you say, oh, yeah. I think the book is better, that doesn't mean that the movie is bad. No, I, I think this in the same way that I think that about Scott Pilgrim, which is oh, yeah. probably one of my favorite movies of all time. But that doesn't mean I don't think the comic is better. Right. I think part of it is like, with, and actually it goes for both of them, I prefer the ending of the comics or the the way that the comic presents itself about certain plot points that change between one and the other. Um, have you watched, you've watched Scott Pilgrim. Uh, yes. Have you read Scott Pilgrim? I have not. Okay, so you know how in the end of Scott Pilgrim, it's like, and then he saves Ramona, blah, blah, blah. Yes, and then he has, um, and then Nega Scott shows up. Yeah, that doesn't happen. Okay. So what happens in the com- I actually have to read it because it's been a long time. But, uh, -oh. uh as- Jesus, this, okay. this fucking Minotaur is hitting me in the butt! Yeah, don't let him do that. He does a fuck ton of damage. Don't worry, I'm, I'm far away from him now. He can't get me. He's hitting your skeletons, though, and they do not like it. No. Uh, it's okay. I threw some lightning, and we're fine now. We're all good. Um, Behold so- the hammer. Yay. There was much rejoicing. All this for a hammer? Uh, hey. fun fact, you can equip the hammer as a weapon. It's all right. <laughs> it's okay. So, the ending Are of Scott Pilgrim. Back? Oh, yes, the ending of Scott Pilgrim. So, at the end of Scott Pilgrim, um, in the comics, Ramona has this whole thing that she can do with the, like, thing... You know how she travels via her brain? That's actually, like, explained more. Yeah. There's, like, this this, this weird sort of subspace network, and apparently Scott's brain is on it or something. Right. That's that's much more... She can, like, travel via it, and it's, like, all, like that's a major plot point. Right. And that's how she's able but, to, like, deliver her packages so quickly. Yeah. At the end of the... The... Um thing she uses her crazy mental powers essentially to create multiple versions of herself you know how she's talking about how she constantly reinvents herself right oh, she creates so like 20 versions of herself and kicks Gideon's ass well, like that's how it ends oh man magical it's so, right you hear it you're like that would be so much cooler but it's why I recommend you watch the you watch the movie before reading the comic right um, which actually, like, shout out to Cassandra for recommending I do that, because she was right, 100% right. Because I like, I like the comic, and I like the book, and it's hard. I think I would have liked it less if I'd read the comic first. Right. 
because it's just a better ending, which doesn't make Scott Pilgrim bad. It just makes it not as good. Yes. So we now, have to give this bitch the hammer? I gave that bitch the hammer. Now you have the imbue option. You can give her a normal item and she will turn it into a golden legendary item. Cool. Uh, I got a, I put, I put my gloves in there and I got a slightly better pair of gloves. Uh, the item you give her has to be completely normal. I hit the button. And now I have some slightly less bad gloves. Nice work. Cool. It is so um, that we face the demon queen. Okay, Andario, and now what? Corrupted the rogue sisterhood and defiled uh, Now I talk to Deckard Kane. And he tells me the story. This does not Deckard Kane, well where the us, fuck are friend. you? Ancient Horodric texts record that Andariel and the other lesser evils. Okay. Once I guess I don't get to learn this. Three prime evils, it's okay. I will explain. Diablo, Mephisto, cool. and Bale, um, banishing them from hell to our I will. world. Here they caused but. mankind untold anguish and suffering. That looks like a big spider. They were finally bound so we're gonna go fight stones. a big scary and Ariel's presence here could mean Angel? that the forces of hell are once again aligned. Uh, the only the lady evil, the, evil the maiden of anguish. If this is true. Then I fear for Is she a big spider? Didn't that happen in three two? Sort of. She's got she's got No, she looks like fucking Kerrigan. She's got like the the the, the blade thingies. Uh but yeah, Deckard Kane just tells us, hey, you know how we've been talking about how Indariel's been a bitch this whole time? You're fighting Indariel. And like, no shit, man. Oop! Power tactics. Ooh, throwing mastery, eh? Take a little break. Take a little rest here. The journey ahead is long and arduous. Welcome back. Okay, that Discord also decided to shit the bed. Jesus Christ. It just all exploded at once. It's okay. <laughs> Fine. We're talking um, about an internet dump of massive proportions. Yeah, it did not go well. Uh, so no, she's not a spider. She just has spider things. Uh. Okay. the The music that is playing in the thing right now is different, and it's weird. I don't. What is happening? What is my the password? Uh. Well, okay, I've loaded. Okay, I'm real now. I swear. <laughs> I swear I'm real. Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. All right, get in the portal and you will rejoin me. Welcome back. Yay! Uh, fuck. I don't remember what we were discussing. Neither do I. Uh, anime Scott Pilgrim. Uh, right, she's a spider. She's not a spider. She's got like Kerrigan spike thingies. 
what yeah, you said Kerrigan. What what are you what Kerrigan? Oh, sorry. She's a character from StarCraft. Ah. Oh, she's okay. She's got wings made Is out of bones. She the one with the titties Gosh. out? Yes. Look, I don't play StarCraft. That's totally fine. I don't know why I knew that she was the one with the titties out. It might be that might just explain why I don't play StarCraft. <laughs> I think I just answered everybody's You answered your question. own question. Yeah. Look, I don't love a titty out when you don't need a titty out. Well, like, the thing is, like, why does she even have titties? She's a bug, right? Um, it's kind of unclear. She's a bug, right? She's bug-like. It, uh, yes. Like, uh, uh, it's kind of unclear what sort of creatures the Zerg are like, but she's not a human anymore, and she's not a mammal. So, like... But she needs titties! Right. Lizard like, boobs! Lizard I, boobs. Okay, that I will say. Like, I was already iffy on, at that point, on the, uh... On oh, the shit. Matt Smith Doctor Who situation. But come, I gotta tell you, lizard titties. Come follow me, I wanna show you a little secret. Uh, after I dump some dumb shit from my inventory. Okay, now check this out. I click this door. Door. And the skeleton fucking shoots you. Yes, the skeleton shoots me in the face. So that worked great for you. There's a couple of these hidden areas. You can tell where they are because the lighting doesn't know what to do with them. <laughs> so it just freaks out? Yeah, so it's just like, uh, can I look through this wall? And, like, if you can kind of look through the wall, then you can... Just then like, it's in there somewhere. Yeah, you click on the walls around it, and it'll eventually something will open up, and they'll be like, "Ah, oh, god damn it! How did you figure out my secret?" And I'm like, Haha, "The game <laughs> gave you away. I slipped the editing guy an extra fifty. Now he doesn't know what to do." Does he ever? No. Also, there's uh -huh. just the woman who's been cut in half on that table. Cash. NBD. To jail. Level two. Get in the jail! Yeah, I don't know why the rogues had such an extensive and bloody prison. Look, it's because it's Diablo. Do you remember in Diablo 3 when we went through the whole situation that was like, why are there so many bodies here? That's... You make a good point. They're just fucking like this. I don't... I will never necessarily understand... There's another one. I will never necessarily understand who... Like, the people who designed Diablo, I don't get it. I don't... Their, their, their idea of interior decoration is very confusing. <laughs> you know, it's I... It's not... Look, it's never gonna be as bad as my fucking hatred of... Uh, Bethesda texturing, but, oh, like, no. it's not... But, like, it's hard. It's hard to get there. I hate... I hate it so much. There's nothing I hate more, and I don't care how much people love fucking Fallout or whatever. Uh, so I've lost my mind, and I'm playing Oblivion again. Ooh. Because Choices. there is a quest in Oblivion I never completed. I'm Did... I mean, that's fair. Like, a major one, or like a... A major one. Like, one of the DLC ones. Oh, fair enough. That's that's something to do. Um, and so I decided I should play it, and I'm playing through Oblivion again on the lowest difficulty. And oh dear God, that game never looked good. Yeah, no. I, like I'll forgive Oblivion. That was what year was that? That was a while ago. That was yeah, like I, I will 2008, not, 2009. I will not forgive fucking Fallout 4. Right. Why does Fallout 4 look so bad? I don't know. I, I can't tell you. And then like, they said, oh, brilliant. We'll just use the same textures for Fallout 76. I, okay, just, and I mean, Skyrim has the same issue. What is up with Bethesda's texturing? It's very weird. I don't know. Like, the, every single texture is just, like, overdone. It's like they were like, they were like, here are our textures, and somebody was like, get more of it. <laughs> Make more texture. And you're like, I don't think we really need more texture. It's a pretty, it's a smooth texture. And they were like, more texture. Not enough. Every texture looks like balls. And then they apply 
it to everything. So every texture is really, really busy. And it's on everything. So like, it looks good from far away and then you get close and you're like, why does this look like shit? Anyway, I'm never gonna be over and I'll fight everybody. I, gotta go I back hate, to town. I hate it. I hate fucking, good to see I hate Bethesda textures. It's fine. I have it's also gone back to town, so please do not leave without me. Got it, leave you immediately. That's exciting. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Accurate. Um, no, hold on. Inventory management is shitty. It's a big shit sandwich, and everyone's got to take a bite. I'll put that it's not place. wrong. I, I don't know. I just, I really don't understand. Why must inventory be so bad? Right? Like, um, I'm playing... Oh, that's something you'll like about Pillars of Eternity. You have an infinite inventory. That's how it fucking should be. Um, you can only have so much on your person at a time, but that's basically a limit of how many things you have quickly at hand. You can pick uh -huh. up everything and just dump it into your stash and sell it all later. That's fair. Every sword and every little piece of armor and all that shit. But you'd be like, oh, you know what? I, I want that notebook because I'm going to want to check it later because it's got clues for the dungeon. And so mm -hmm. you leave that in your inventory, which is ha which has like 20 slots. And there's mm -hmm. no encumbrance values. That's the way it should be, too. I don't know. Like, I get it, but... I blame Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, yeah, because... For whatever reason, encumbrance is a thing in that game. And I mean, yeah. sometimes it matters, but most of the time, it just fucking doesn't. Oh, fuck. No, I, I, I know. Fuck, what is that? It's a gargoyle trap. It shoots fire. And it's in a very tight, compact area, so my winions get very confused. It's okay, I have lightning. Thank you. Lightning in my pants. Um, but... Yeah, no, look... I blame Gary Gygax personally. <laughs> Do you feel personally victimized by Gary Gygax? <laughs> you may be entitled to compensation. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, look. I know I hate on Gary Gygax a lot, but I will not stop. Like, no. I don't... Like, he I made some good shit, but then he refused to iterate on it at all. No, he had a good idea. Right. And then he was asked to like make some quality of life changes and was like, I won't. Absolutely not. No I categorically not. refuse. Oh, speaking of Gary Gygax, uh, oh God. Oh, uh, uh, Theo's character died on Sunday. Oh, that sucks for him. Uh, he's playing a, a rat man in a, in a very xenophobic setting. Um, is, is it xenophobic against rat men? Uh, every race hates every other race. Did you do this? No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, it's the Warhammer setting. Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. So, you know, white guy alert. Uh, oh, baby Jesus. It really is a white guy alert. I swear to God. But, um, um, where are you? I'm over here. Just throw some goddamn lightning and everything. Be careful. Oh. It did not work. Yeah, those are champion level enemies, so they are strong. Uh, and I yeah, can't I find the fucking I, door. I walked into one. It was fine. That is a fucking stop touching me. They don't, don't like you. What did you do to them? Touch me. <laughs> but um, right, yes, it's a very xenophobic setting, and like the the uh, the the. What's the word I'm looking for? The conceit of the game is their characters have been, had their xenophobia taken away by a demon. So they get to work together. I feel like that demon is the real fucking MVP of this situation. Absolutely. Uh, you might want to pick up your The corpse. demon of anti-racism. Uh, the demon's just having fun. Just like, what happened? If, what would happen if all these people didn't hate each other for no reason? It's the demon of anti-racism, I'm just saying. Um, and, uh, so he's only done it to them, and, uh, Theo was like, oh man, 
He's given them jobs to do, just to be like, huh, I did this favor for you, so you owe me. So, because uh, he's a fucking demon? Because he's a demon. Um, and so, all of, all of the jobs benefit him in some vague way, it doesn't matter. But they're like, hey, the, uh, the fiancé of the elector count of the city is, uh, you know, seems a little, uh, a little, um... Yeah, I just need to interrupt you for a second. Do you hit things, or do you just walk up to them and let your fucking minions take care of it? Oh, I let my minions take care of it. Yeah, I don't I'm like, actually... Oh, shit! Nope! Uh, if you ever wonder why I, uh, I, 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 it gives me a lot of time to pick up all the loot. Yes, I am like, <laughs> how does he have time for this? Why does he get everything? I mean, I, I do cast Amplify Damage, which doubles the damage our enemies take, but, like, I cast it, like, once. And once. Like, I think I got and everybody. Uh, good. Get them, boys. Good job here is done. done <laughs> you didn't do anything. That's potentially the greatest moment of anime ever. It's quite possibly the best. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, they're, they're... Hold on, I need to adjust my belts. My... Um. my... My tool belt, my my bat belt. Understood. Did you go? I'm over here. Okay, got it. I see you. Um. So, so the I figured what I thought was going to happen was their slick vampire was going to go talk to, uh, the the lady because he can pretend to be human, and mm -hmm. I figured the rat would go looking for uh, looking for the cult because they'd be willing to not murder him on sight because they're like, oh hey, it's a rat man. What up? What up, rat man? So but that did not happen. Well, I sent him to the slums and he's like, oh man, I gotta find the lady's manor. And I'm like, why are you trying to find this man's fiance? This will only end poorly for you. So that's what he tried to do, and he couldn't find it, and he has like no applicable skills because he's a cleric and he has no skill points. So he's like, shit, I don't know my way around. I'll ask someone for directions. And that didn't go well for and him? He, no, he failed his stealth roll, so the person noticed what he was, and then he was like, oh my god, Skaven, everybody kill it! And I used riot statistics, and they just beat him to death. So that went great. It went great. But I mean, like, that's the beautiful thing about a sandbox game. Like, there is no story. Oh, I fair. I have no plot. If you get ripped to shreds by, by people, doesn't matter to me. Are we going to fight a big thing now? Nope. We have an entire other labyrinth to go through. Are you kidding me? I'm not fucking kidding you. Fuck this fucking game. We don't have that much plot, so we're gonna stretch it out with some fucking labyrinths. Well, like, we went through three areas. We yes. went through the to the. There. We went through the. <laughs> we go through the Tamo Highlands. There's no quests. We go through the Outer Monastery. Still no fucking quests. We go through the inner. We go through the prison. Still no fucking quests. Yep. Oh my god. Can we go into the god. cathedral? Yes. Now we go in here. Jesus. I don't understand. Why must we do all these many things? I don't know. And like, this this dungeon, I think it's got four sections, and it's by far the worst. Because it has a bunch of like, narrow alleys and very small corridors. This is bullshit, dude. So my Winions... Th this is where my Winions are going to be working against me because the areas we will be going just into. Fuck day up. Yep, they are gonna get lost and they're gonna get caught. Uh, oh, I go hey, Bonash! It's this guy. Oh, also ghosts. How unfortunate. Uh, I might learn okay, I some. I don't know where anything is. I just have life. It's like all I've got going. For. The beautiful thing. It's super effective. Ow. Can't carry uh, what and, else do I have? and then he exploded like, in an ice cream. Uh Jesus. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. That definitely I don't know. I feel I feel uh I like a good plot. Oh I'm but sorry. also on the other hand, like it's fine. 
I was gonna say, what? you're not gonna get one of those here. Oh no, I don't mean here, I mean in like a game. Oh, yes. In like a tabletop game. But, because, uh, here's the thing. So in our, in the other game I play in, the last okay. time our DM was like, I don't really have anything for you. We were like, let's rob a dragon. <laughs> and she was like, no! And we were like, no, we're definitely doing that. Definitely happening. And now she come, she's like, now I come with some more plot. <laughs> you fuckers cannot be trusted. I think she would have been less upset about it if we hadn't gotten away with it. Right. If you had failed and someone had died, she'd have been like, oh, well, She's mission like, accomplished. We're gonna die. A demonic I assume we're going to the catacombs? Yeah. Yes. Um, she's like, oh shit, I got a new lightning. Oh, you got the big lightning. I got big lightning now. Oh, that's lightning bolt. That's the. Oh, hey, little rat men. This is a rare drop. Sort of. Uh, rat men don't usually show up in here. Cool. So, I, I guess, uh, RN Jesus has blessed our run. Oh, fuck! I don't think anything's fucking blessed right now. Yeah, neither do I. Never mind. I take it back. We take it all back. We're not blessed. Starcall and all of his fucking friends showed up out of nowhere and hit me right in the face. Do you remember Sarah Buchanan's fucking Soraka Starcall situation? Vaguely? <laughs> Do you remember how she played her? Yes, very aggressive. <laughs> the mage. Um, she boosted her star call so high that she could just kill. She would like two hit everything. Oh, those big spiders! Big spiders! Oh, uh, what do big you know? There were spiders in here after all. I told you, there's always fucking spiders. Look, if there's a place. Giant spiders can live in a video game. They will live there. It's just a rule. Yeah. Fuck. I just closed the door. Oh god, this is oh, fuck. complicated. Yeah, oh, yeah. This I have area. A sword for some reason. You have a what? I must have picked up a sword somewhere, but I hold it like a dingus. Oh, that's a that's a dagger. It's not either way. Cause that's how that's how you wield the dagger, right? Gabby, yeah, stand like fucking psycho, dude. <laughs> please, please, please. Like, what am I doing? I don't know. I can't tell you that. Anyway, so yeah, it's like I don't know. I miss I miss that time in my life where I got to watch somebody be like, my entire plan right now is just to win. And and kill everything, and you're like, you're the healer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it was always like that fucking, like, like, anime doctor meme of the dude with the gun. It was just like, I'm a healer, but. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that's how Sarah plays this game. I took a level in gun. Anyway, it was very important. I fully support people who make your life fucking worse by playing their characters in a way that is not recommended by the meta. I mean, like... The meta uh, is for losers. The meta is for losers, because... All meta is for losers. I've been... I've been playing... <laughs> I know you don't play Magic, but meta is for losers. I made a deck that's nothing but walls. Okay. Um, I can understand what that means. Right. I got those words. My creatures can't attack. But I have but another. Nobody can attack you. Well, I, I got. There's another card that says your walls can attack, and instead of using their power, they use their toughness to deal damage. Okay. So, so you're, just, you're essentially dropping walls on people. Yes, I turtle up for like three or four turns, and my opponent's just sitting there with his little creatures, like fuck, I can't. God damn it, I can't get through these walls. And then I fucking drop the walls on them. They're like, what? No! But the thing is, the thing that really gets me is I'll attack with my walls and then the game will stop. <laughs> it will stop for like maybe a minute as like I can see what their cursor is pointing at. And they'll just be like looking at my oh. walls and looking at the cards and looking at my walls. Like, this isn't supposed to happen. Like no, that's wrong. That's you can't be right. <laughs> Just like you can't do that. That's illegal. <laughs> you can't 
can't do that. That's illegal. Screw the rules. Yeah, no, look. It's part of my problem is that I've always played in ways that are maybe not recommended, but I enjoy. And sometimes you win and sometimes you fucking lose. And that's fine. Like, you know, but here's the thing. Oh, Zoe, I found a globe for you. Cool. You're gonna I want need that globe. All these glo globs. Globs. Globs I of have, gold. I have. I have the, the glob. It gives you plus one to static field and plus one to charged bolt. Nice. And Lightning even glob. if you're not casting those spells, uh, the bonuses that that item gives you will affect other skills that get bonuses from those spells. Cool. Um, yeah, the thing about using something other than the meta is that it doesn't work all the time, but when it does, it works very, very well. It's so good. And that is a joy. How did you get out there? <laughs> the fuck? Follow the dulcet tones of my voice. No. That's a good idea. Okay. Uh, but yes, if, if you fight the meta, sometimes your enemies just don't know what to do. Yeah, and it's like it's like you break them. They just can't. They they they're, just can't they're so it. locked in. They're like, okay, I build this, and then I build this, and I build that, and, then, and you're like, yeah, actually, I'm playing rocket ship Scion. And they just don't know how to counter it, <laughs> which is like, here's the thing: if they figure out how to counter it, you're fucked. Right, then you lose. But hey, the point is, they played the game. Like, yeah, right. It, they didn't just do what they were supposed to do. Because, like, that's the problem with so much meta stuff. They're like, oh, well, we can tell who's going to win from the beginning of this game just based on who picked what. Right. That's bullshit. Like, that's lame. It shouldn't be like that. You should be like, and then you suffer through whatever bullshit I'm about to do to you. Like, uh, one of my favorite League of Legends tournaments had uh, i don't know what was going on in the meta but mundo was running wild and it was uh -huh. before there was a lot of percentage based damage stuff so mm -hmm. like their adc went vain but like one vein cannot defeat a dr mundo he's just got too much health oh god i went the wrong way you're good you're good you're good i'm in the right place now uh so they're so mundo's going top and then they picked poppy old okay. poppy okay and like because poppy's got that thing where she just does percentage based damage yeah. on her next auto attack and just like it was the first time poppy had ever been picked in a professional tournament ever i mean yeah i mean somebody was like i figured out how to deal with you and everyone was like but poppy's so bad how can she possibly win and like motherfucker it does not matter yeah. Like, ooh, legendary two-handed sword. Uh, but like, I mean, it, it does not matter. Like, this this person is designed to kill your character. Yeah. Like, just because the meta says they're bad doesn't mean like that they're bad in every single situation. They have seen the situation and they have reacted correctly to the situation, and now you're gonna have to deal with some shit that you don't know how to deal with. And, like, Poppy wasn't super effective at dealing with any other enemy, but when the but, bi when the big unstoppable Mundo came around, he fucking ate shit and died. Oh, hey, it's a lich! There's a lich! There's a lich! It's a lich! Okay, that's, sorry. That's a uh, wrong D&D &D game. <laughs> I had a... Uh, the first session of my D&D &D game, the, the other one, the one where we fucked up the dragon. Right. Um, or fucked over the dragon is more like what happened. Um, soon I will convince one character to fuck the dragon. It's only a matter of time. No, he's, uh, he's, uh, a uh, Githyaki, and he's got this whole red dragon thing. Uh... And I'm like, he's gonna bone the dragon, and, like, my character keeps leaving, like, dragon porn <laughs> in his pen. Just oh, like, let's say Nate, you'll need this. Nate already it has will a help you. Nate already has uh, a weak will. He's doomed. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm like Nate, you're gonna fuck a dragon, and he's like, but I don't, and I'm like, you're gonna fuck a dragon. <laughs> Pepper is intent on this occurring. 
Oh um, shit, sorry. Buddy. <laughs> I only had to do one thing. And you didn't do it. Nope. Um. Oh fuck. Ah, oh, Jesus. There's a guy! Sorry, he just made a very loud noise on my, through my speakers. So, there's a lich. So, anyway, I was our first session. So, my poor players. First session, they were like, we don't know what we're going to deal with. Like, we don't know how this is going to go. And I was like, okay, this is the introduction to getting to my character, essentially. Which was... Somebody was like, yeah, bad thing happened, and she was like, it's a lich. No evidence that it was a lich. To the point where, like, it, it became like the joke of the game was that every time something happened, Pepper was like, it's definitely a lich. Gotta be a lich. I've yeah, seen this like, before. Yeah, back, like, screaming, like, it's a lich during normal conver like, conversations with, like, you know how every game you have, like, a contact that will tell you what's going wrong in the town, essentially. Right. You'll go to the tavern she thought, and... She thought that person was a lich. She thought, she was like, they're liches. It's all liches. And, uh, that was the beginning of that game, and it hasn't gotten better for them. And I'm sorry? I'm not that sorry. But say, don't lie, I don't know. No, you're not. Anyway, how do you think our current game is going? <laughs> I think it's going very well. Um, I am very. Uh, I'm glad that you guys got weirded out by the uh, the 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 many men. The weird dudes. The weird dudes, yes. The creepy men, yes. Yes. <laughs> oh no! Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, they're the Marvel Chrises. I can't tell them apart. Oh God, yes. Anyway, that's what I'm calling them. Uh, that's perfectly acceptable. They have many names, but you may call them. But I will call Chris. them the Chrises. All right, this is Andariel's fucking house. Okay, we're down there. We're in there. We're gonna do it. We're gonna so, kill this motherfucker. Now I got some bad news. One of her major attacks is a giant poison nova that will kill all my winions. Uh, okay. So, so that's... I can try to I summon have more. <laughs> very quickly I but have some lightning I will I will lightning I was about to say you're gonna have to you're gonna have to hit this bitch with lightning bolts got it I can hit with lightning bolts it's okay I I am capable of doing a lightning bolt occasionally I, I'm very glad because I just need some mana potions to maintain like Having you tried to solo this boss in the past, it's a fucking nightmare when you're a necromancer, when you're a summoned necro, because you're like, aha! All my winions are dead. All right, I need to make more winions. Aha! I have come back, and all my winions are dead. All right, um, uh... So having a friend who can cover you while you try to get your winions back will help. Exactly. Or just, like, having a friend who can do damage. Fair enough. All right. I don't know. Hold on. Let me let me make sure I have my lightning bolt leveled up. That's a good idea. As much as I can. But say she's at Dead the end of this room, so. I want some static field, and I want some lightning, and I want I want to just make sure. Oh, I have not raised my stats in a while. Oh boy. Uh, what do I need? I need uh, en vitality and strength. Energy doesn't Car. do anything. Well, it gives you more. It gives you a larger mana pool. But if you can just drink potions. Oh God! There she is. Um, I have been poisoned. Hold on. Let me get in on this. Oh fuck! She's got some titties. Oh yeah. Oh, she's got some titties out. Those are like out titties. This is true. Oh, this oh, I need so mana. Nice. A bitch needs some mana. Thank A bitch you. got some mana. Oh my. Oh, um, the cleansing fucking fire, I guess. Gotta have it. Yeah. Back to the hell that spawned you, Andrea. Cool. That was funsies. Yes. Fuck. 
gonna put these boots on my feet. Oh, and she's got uh, a bone thrown over here. Bone thrown! Look, you gotta have a good bone thrown. You gotta have a good bone thrown. If you if you don't if have, you a, don't bone have thrown, a bone thrown, what are you doing? Are you even an evil overlord? So true. Just saying. Yes. Yeah. Yes. If you do not have an evil, if you don't do not have an evil bone thrown, the skull is stuck to it. What do you stop? You. Hey, Gleeglaw's claw. Gleeglog? Yeah, uh, Gleeglaw. Uh, C L E G L A W. No, I like Gleeglog. Glee bloop. Uh, I also got the Blood Crescent, which is a fantastic bleep, bleep. weapon, but none of us bloop, use weapons, so. So, sell that fucking goddamn shit. Yep. And the, the shield is part of a set that neither of us can really use. It's, I think it's got an axe. Like, the major weapon cool. is an axe. And, like, I, I don't know about you, but I, I'm no axeman. Mm -mm. No axes here. Uh, I'm just selling, like, a bajillion fucking potions. So I just have... My whole fucking inventory is, like, potions. You wanted to be prepared, and you know what? You were. I was. Look. I needed some mana to fuck that bitch's day up. Watch you had me. nothing going for you in that moment. Nope. I was there watching you suffer. I was like, why is why did her health stop going down? Oh, I ran out of mana. Oh, <laughs> out of oh fuck. Hold on. I'm glad Where's you. Where's that potion I saved for this moment? I'm glad you understand how this fight works. <laughs> yeah. Huh, that's not good. My minions occasionally serve as a as an infrequent distraction. You gotta I'm throw them at people. Dead. Look, sometimes you gotta throw Hello. a skeleton at a bitch. Sometimes, sometimes you, you gotta throw fucking 15 at him. <laughs> Alright, I feel like that's probably a good point to stop. Oh, not quite. Let's move on to the oh, next no. act. Oh, good good call, good the call, good call. That's a good call. We may now journey eastward. I just figured so we'd finished an act, so. Yes, definitely. Good evening. What, what do we need to do? You click on War Eve and you select Go East. Do I need his leg? Uh, no, you can leave the leg in the stash. We won't use that until after the game has been defeated. Okay. Don't worry about it. Oh, here's a cutscene. Yes. We so traveled some good east. Here. Over the mountains and into the vast deserts of broken Does it have the drama of... As the days passed, my companion told wow. me of himself that he had once been a great warrior. Is that just like... I don't and think that that's computer graphics. I think that's just some film that they put like a pixely thing over. I wouldn't be surprised. We traveled yeah, there's, for an eternity There's no the way they built that. Land. How long... That camel's face, I couldn't though. say. And always, a dark cloud seemed to follow us just over the horizon. Finally, the journey ended. That camel's fucking we dead, dude. The last You're bridge. fucked. It's so dead. There below just walk us away. Lay our destination. The shining jewel Root Lane. With a great sea beyond. We made camp there last night. Perhaps it was the warm desert wind or the sound of the ocean, but for the first time in many weeks, I slept. However, the dreams returned, but these were wow. clearly not my own. I beheld a vision of a great man, the mage Taurasha. You were there Famous too, for the I time. remember seeing you in my dream. His brethren had cornered a great demon, Baal, the Lord of Destruction, who had been set loose upon the world. They attempted to imprison the demon within a sacred stone. Does he have a banana? Yet it looks like he's holding a banana. Failed, it does look like a banana. Kalasha selflessly volunteered to contain the demon within himself, so this is just... completing the prison. 
He instructed his brethren to bind him within a tomb, buried under the sand, there to wrestle with the demon for all eternity. set out with the dawn. The next morning, we walked over the hill toward Lutgulain. I had no idea then of the horrors that were in store for me there. Uh, so... Um, right, uh, I should explain some, a little bit of the story. So, Marius, Marius is a weird, uh, sort of narrator character. He's sort of, he's a Lovecraftian protagonist. Uh, in essence, like, he, he knows that everything he's doing is bad and will only make things worse, but he just can't stop himself for some reason. Okay. Like, uh, that's the warrior from Diablo 1, and he shows up at the Rose okay. Monastery going east, and he unleashes a bunch of demons because he can't control Diablo anymore. And he spares Marius, and Marius has been having a bunch of weird nightmares, and he's like, I guess I'm going to follow this guy. But, like, it's it's absolutely unclear why he follows Diablo. He just can't, he can't stop himself. He just has to do it. And so Diablo has come here to release Bale for... Oh, no! <laughs> It's okay, I'll tell all of you. And then I'll tell her afterwards. Diablo has come to release Bale from his prison. And then he can continue going east to release the third primeval. Um, the, the story is told in a flashback. Marius is being approached by, uh, by Tyriel, who is trying to figure something out. And we'll worry about that later. So he's talk telling all this to Tyriel to uh, see if... He's got what Tyriel's looking for. So, that's all. Thank you very much for joining us.